What is going on guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to learn how to split a PDF file into multiple PDF files using Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to use Python today to split a PDF file up into multiple PDF files. And this can be quite useful, for example, if you have a large PDF file with 500 pages and maybe it's a book and it has 12 chapters and you want to have 12 separate PDF files, one for each chapter, and you want to automate that process using Python, or maybe you have 500 PDF files that have a similar structure and you want to extract the first six pages off each of those PDF files and you don't want to do this manually, this can be done with Python automatically. So that is a use case, for example, and I'm sure you can come up with many more use cases. Now, by the time you're watching this video, there should be a video already on my channel where I show you how to merge PDF files or how to take multiple PDF files and merge them into one central PDF file containing all the content, uh, which is something that I do more often than just splitting PDF files. But we're going to use the result of that video of uh, the merging video today as the resource for splitting. However, feel free to use whatever PDF file you like. I'm going to use this one here. So we have a six page PDF file, where we have uh, a little bit of text, an image, then a table, and then a little bit more text. So the content is not really relevant here. We just want to split the content into different files. And uh, what we're going to do here first is we're going to install the module that is going to allow us to do that, which is called PyPDF2. So pip install PyPDF2. And then we can go ahead and import from PyPDF2. We're going to import. And now, unfortunately, we don't have something like a PDF splitter. We do have a PDF merger. But in order to split, we need to use the PDF file reader and a PDF file writer. So we're going to do this manually here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to specify the pages that we want to uh, split that we want to extract. For example, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to have the focus pages. So the pages that we want to extract, and then we're going to have a separate PDF file with the with the rest of the pages. And what I'm going to do now here is I'm going to say one and two. So pages one and two is what I want to extract, uh, which I think should be the image and the table, right? So image and table are page one and two. Remember, we start counting from zero. So zero should be page one, one and two should be pages uh, two and three. And what, what we're going to do now is we're going to say with open, we're going to open the merged PDF file in reading bytes mode as the file stream F. And we're going to say now that the reader that we're going to use is going to be a PDF file reader targeting the F file. And then we're going to say writer is equal to PDF file writer. And uh, we're going to also have a rest writer. So you want to have a writer for each file, right? If you want to have five different PDF files, uh, you want to create five different uh, writers. And you want to have also different collections of pages here. Uh, maybe you want to have a range, okay, chapter one goes from this page to this page. And then you can do something like, I don't know, chapter one equals and then you can say list range from page, I don't know, 15 up until 25. Uh, this is how you would define the range here. And then you can do the same thing that I'm, I'm going to do with pages, you can do it with chapter. Um, and here, we're just going to say now rest writer is PDF file writer as well. And now what we're going to do is we're going to say four page in range length of reader pages. So what we want to do is we want to iterate over the pages of the PDF file. How do we do that? We get the reader instance, we determine the number of pages that the PDF file has uh, by saying length of the pages. Um, and we uh, make a range of it. So we make an iterator uh, that we can use here in the for loop. And then we iterate over the pages. And we say, okay, if the page that I'm currently looking at is part of pages, or you could also if you have something like that, say if it's part of chapter one, and then you can say whatever, and then you can say elif page is in chapter two, and so on, and then determine which writer you're going to use. But I'm going to say now if page in pages, we're going to just say writer add page. So we add pages individually here. And we're going to add the page object, which we're going to get by saying reader dot get page, and we pass the number of the page here. So this is just a number iterating over the 
over the numeric sequence that we have here. And if that page is part of our collection, we're going to get the respective page object that has this number. And we're going to add the page to the writer. Otherwise, we're going to say rest writer. Again, if you have multiple writers, you can do elif and uh, check for different ranges. So you have multiple of these objects. Oh, wrong copy here, multiple of these here with different uh, numbers in there. And then you say, Okay, if it's here, use that writer, if it's here, use that writer, and so on. Uh, here, we just have two cases, which is if else. And we're going to add the page here to the rest writer, reader, get page page again. And then we're going to say afterwards, with open selected PDF writing bytes mode as F2 writer, write, and we need to pass a file stream, which is going to be F2. And in this case here, rest PDF as F2. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Rest stays the same. Because of course, this F2 is a different one than this F2, they don't conflict because they're not in the same scope. Um, so the F2 is in here and the F2 is in here, they don't conflict here. Uh, so that should actually work. Let's see if it works. There you go. We have the rest PDF. It has uh, actually, I think I did it the other way around. Can that be the case? No, um, I think what did I do wrong? If page in pages, oh, obviously rest writer. There you go. So now we have selected PDF, we have the two pages that we selected the image in the table. And the rest PDF has now all the stuff that we didn't want to use. Now, let me just show you briefly how this works with the chapters. Uh, if we have a book, so we can say something like, in this case, I only have six pages, which uh, which makes it a little bit difficult. But we can do something like chapter one is list of range of zero to three. So this should be zero, one and two, because the three is not included. Uh, then I can say chapter two is uh, let's do this manually. So we have three and four and then chapter three is just going to be five. Um, and then we can say C one writer. I hope this is going to work now because this is improvised this is not prepared. C two writer and C three writer. And then we're going to say, okay, if the page is in chapter one, use the C one writer. And we can copy that now, not inside, but here elif page in chapter two, c2 writer dot add page, read a get page page. And then I think this should be possible to copy. I'm wrong. There you go. Chapter three, c3 writer. There you go. So this should include all pages 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have six pages starting at zero. Those are six indices. Um, and then we just say C1 writer, C2 writer. And of course, we need to say chapter one PDF, chapter two PDF. Uh, where's the two chapter two, chapter three. And of course, this needs to change to three. Let's see if that works. Chapter one PDF is having the first three. Chapter two PDF is having the next two and then chapter three has the last page. So this is how you split PDF files in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button, and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.